We land on top of it? No, almost. No. God damn it. Nintendo couldn't you have given her a couple more buttons to use? Uh, um, where the hell did I make her point? <laughs> Jesus, I'm so stupid. I'm sorry, guys. Give me a break. This is a very annoying dungeon. Actually, it seems to have gone by pretty... It, go, it seems to go by extremely slowly, but... There, shine it right in Link's fucking face. Ah, oh, Christ. Nope, just me. I'm so st Why am I so stupid today? I mean, really. I could blame Spring Break. I could blame it on... Bl blame it? I could blame it on many things. I could blame it on many things. So yes, what you have to do is you have to get rid of every one of these little stone things so you can bust out the mirror. Busting out the mirror. Hardcore, man. Link! Link! There's a giant mirror! N no shit. Oh, okay. I did that wrong. She's supposed to. Someone's supposed to stand on that pedestal, and then someone's supposed to stand down there on that uh, platform that has the harp symbol on it. <laughs> Do it, Link. Go. Get some. Get some. I have no life. I really don't. In case you haven't noticed by now. <laughs> that angle just looks so funny. Don't blame me. Blame Nintendo for making the camera work weird. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I have exactly 1,000 rupees. Hmm. Cool. <laughs> if you're making the sound, it'd be even more funny. Alright, there we go. It seems overly complicated, like really, why did the Earth Temple have to be like this? Why didn't they just say, okay, here's where you go to pray, that's it, instead of, okay, in order to pray, first you have to do all this. Like, really? <sighs> Don't you huh at me? I will huh right back. Of course, I guess, I guess if you sounded like that, I'd be questioning whether, I'd be questioning your gender. <gasps> Medley, are you okay? You feeling okay? Okay, there's another treasure chest that more than likely has a uh, watch a who's it in it. A bunch of some has some rupees in it. What's in there? Huh, a door. Well, I am not going in there until this puzzle is complete. Because I don't know if the puzzle saves, and I'd hate to do this all over again. <laughs> that would suck total uh, monkey balls. Which, by the theory of evolution, would mean in a couple of years, it would be us balls. Us balls? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, first, go ahead and shine it there. Shine my light right on his frickin' schnoz. Uh, there we go. Up, 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 up. Shield controls are so finicky. Should be better in Skyward Sword, though, which I have not heard. Come to think of it, I haven't heard any, I haven't heard shit for news of Skyward Sword since I originally heard about it, which was actually quite a long time ago. 
yeah, see, you can jump. Why couldn't you jump that one time? And you were like, Link, I can't jump. Sorry, I had to pause. Well, I, was, I had to parse the army crawl. <laughs> Link, there's a mirror in the way. What do I do? Go around it? That's fucking amazing. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to have this mirror over here. <sighs> we done yet? Jesus. Hey, who's Chris? There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so now what we have to do is basically the same thing we did in that first Sunface room. Um, and we have to light up both of this uh, statue's eyes in order to make it do something. To make it do something! And, um... Beautiful. Alright. So she got her half of the face lit up. There we go. And suddenly the whole room lights up. And those are some very violent walls. They're like, fuck, I'll get out of the way for you! As, <laughs> as I shake my microphone off while doing the motion. Ah, oh, God. Alright, puzzle solved. Um... I'll get the boss key before I uh, take on that bonus room. No, I'll take on the bonus room first. Bonus room, bonus room. Here we are. Where art thou, bonus room? <laughs> this was probably a bad. It was probably a bad idea. Um, awakening all of them. Oh, fuck! Oh my god, dude, get off of me. You're a fucking creeper. You know that? I'm expecting you at any moment to go and turn into a giant green fuzzy penis and blow up. You're such a creeper. Now I'm half wondering what's in that. I miss bomb arrows. <laughs> Random thought, I know. But really, bomb arrows from... Twilight Princess were probably the most amazing item in that game. Besides the double claw shot, the double claw shot was downright just probably my favorite item in the entire Zelda series. <laughs> well, in the entirety of the Zelda series that I've seen. Simply because it's so freaking awesome. I mean, I know it has its limited uses, but come on. It's like freaking Spidey. It's like freaking Spidey Link. It's amazing. But speaking of Twilight Princess, if I do ever LP that game, it's not going to be 100%. I'm not going to get... I may get all the bugs. I don't know. I'll probably get, like, all the bugs. Um, probably not all of the Poe. Um, oh, yeah, she's back at the beginning. That's the wrong button, Nick. Um, but I definitely won't get all the heart containers, because right now, on my main file, which I haven't played for months, I mean, by months, I mean, actually, it may have been in, like, an, it's almost an entire year since I played Twilight Princess, because I got it from my friend, traded him my iPod Shuffle, because I never listened to it, because the music on it was outdated and shit, and I didn't really like it anymore. Actually, it's a Nightwish, so I never really hate a Nightwish song. It just uh, gets a little old. But a point is, I traded him that uh, for his copy of Twilight Princess. I didn't really care. I was never going to use the iPod Shuffle. He was never going to use uh, Twilight Princess ever again. Alright. Fuck. 
Get away from me, you fucking whore! I'll take a hit! Did you just die already? Oh yeah, the what's-his-face is gone. That battle is actually it's usually pretty difficult for me. I don't know why. Probably because of the fucking bubbles. God, those guys are annoying. You know that? You want to you, you want to go and use your boomerang, and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna throw my boomerang at you. Nope, I'm covered in purple funk. Damn it! And here's the big key. So, come on. <sighs> Can't wait till I'm done with this game, because then I'll probably LP. I don't know what I'll LP after this. It'll probably be summer by the time I fucking get to it. Get around to beating this game. Actually, that's not a very far, a very uh, ridiculous statement. I mean, assuming I cut out as much as possible so as to minimize on time lost, that made no sense at all. And maybe, just maybe, um, I will be able to squeeze in the last of this LP before uh, summer vacation. Got April, May. Holy fuck! We've got two weeks, of, two months of school left. Wow! Every time I remember, like, oh my god, we have X amount of whatever, X amount of uh, days left before the end of the school year, I'm always like, holy fuck! Someone pull out the shit cannon, cause it's just gone down. Someone just pulled out the shit cannon, cause it's just gone down. Hell, I don't remember how it goes. My friend said it once. And I was like, wow, that's moderately funny. Whoa, they're all over me. Actually, I think if I'd gotten the uh, item from the uh, Wind Temple, this part would have been made a lot. Would have been made a much, much easier, much faster at least. Well, this is quite boring. There we go. <laughs> Fuck. So my cousin recently suggested a game to me. He said it was like Minecraft, only on a on a macro scale, using a term from StarCraft 2 and probably a bunch of other RTS games. I don't know if it's used for anything else. But, um, it's Dwarf Fortress. And I believe it's actually been... I've heard that it's actually quite popular. Thing is, I have no fucking idea what I'm what I'm doing. I really don't. In Dwarf Fortress. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh god, there we go. Bunk. One of these pots is going to have a fairy in it. No, just a crap ton of green rupees. Thanks a lot. <gasps> Wait! No, 